at heart we are a robotics and artificial intelligence company, but we do fundamentally believe that good design is an integral part of what we have to do as a company. Design is actually extremely important for AI and robotics because humans have to interact with these robots. These are robotic cars. We want to make products that are surprising, that are engaging, that do things that you would never expect. And if we're going to do that on the product capability side, we wanted to make sure that the looks match that. We had an initial design direction for what we wanted the vehicles to look like. You know, we were looking for something that was futuristic, something that was very sleek, very sexy in some sense. The first time we met Harold, we had our stereotypes and uh, conceptions on what the Hollywood designer would look like. We imagined all sorts of things. I don't fit into the cars I design. The guy's huge. He's just, uh, he's a huge, huge person. I started out as a uh, car designer. I was lucky to actually break into the entertainment industry. I spent the next 15 years designing vehicles for movies, and basically because of all that, I was fortunate to be noticed by the people from Anki. The design brief said that we want to create autonomous race cars where a race takes place in the future, for example, 2030. And not just normal race cars, but race cars which include artificial intelligence and a lot of technology on the inside. How would something like that look? Go crazy. I think that's all he said. So I was told that we have to have as little as possible on the front tires and most of the weight has to be in the, on the rear tires. And I still had to deal with the fact that uh, the chassis was already predetermined. We did a lot of things I wouldn't normally do just to make his vision work. I raised the tail end of the car up by moving the motors from horizontal to more of an angle. And that narrowed the back of the car down, allowing him to have more range of freedom in the back. I really care about the skin and how well the car sits on the road. You know, how do the reflections run? Does that front really go with the side, with the back? I think it's successful if it feels like it's leaping forward while still standing there. We look over those cars and we see which ones look faster, which ones look more armored, which ones look like as if they would carry more weapons. That's what we then use to create a personality on top of those forms. To me, that's always the trick, to, to get that kind of passion from somebody who's all business and look at the cars and become a little boy. 